My name is Omar Lopez and I'm a coastal engineer. I work as a research engineer at Stevens Institute of Technology. Coastal engineer will work with the beach. Most of the time will be related to shore protection, protecting a house from erosion, also protecting a whole town from coastal storms. My responsibilities include going out to the field and collect some data like we're doing today. We have a jet ski and a GPS system where we collect elevation of the sand on the bottom of the ocean. It's called a hydrographic survey. We wanted to know where is this sand moving over time and how fast it's moving over time. In some places they row faster, in some places they row slower. Coastal engineers can help tell the communities what type of structures they could build to protect and hold that sand longer in place. As soon as you put something in the water, you're gonna change the dynamics of the site and you're gonna create maybe erosion problems to someone else. So that's why the studies of coastal processes are conducted before the project. There are a lot of driving forces that affect islands, such as wind, waves, the currents. Shoreline protection techniques minimize the impact of the wave action on the beach. Most of them trying to stop the wave energy, and once that happens, the currents will, will keep moving some sediment, but it will be less than if you have nothing out there. When designing an island, there are several factors that uh, the coastal engineer might think of. If you want to look at the bathymetry around the island and the waves that impact that place, and the cause associated to the island because of the material you have to use, steel versus concrete versus sand versus gravel. Based on that, then you will design the protection for that island. Uh, you don't want to create an island that will wash away in a couple of years. The most common way to build an island is dredging offshore sand and then place it on the location that you want it. Basically, you do a rock revetment or huge breakwaters around a place with rocks and then you dump sand in the middle and you create an island. There are several ways that you can protect the shoreline. Hard structures will be like breakwaters, seawalls, revetments, and then soft structures will be beach noisement where you have sand being placed over time. Vegetation really helps dune grass, which the roots help to condense the sand on the dune. On bay sides, we have the marshlands, and those dissipate the energy of the wakes from the boat, dissipate the energy from waves, keep in place the, the sediment, and also will add some ecosystem to the area. You have to protect that island. At the same time, you have to protect the environment around it. That's the reason why we do research. That's the reason why we collect data from different places and different circumstances. And then we help the engineers to build better shores protect our communities. So, if you are a coastal engineer and your boss asks you to build an island, what are the things you consider to protect that island? 